beyond. Uh, today is a beautiful day. It's minus five degree uh, Celsius. How come minus five degree is beautiful? Yes, it oh is. Oh my beautiful. God, we are, we are just becoming Canadians. <laughs> Negative five degrees is not beautiful, oh, it's guys. Nothing. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are Canadians now. <laughs> So once again, this is Jihan and this is my um, handsome husband, Osman Zia. Thank um, you. He always Appreciate say it. my beautiful wife. So I was like, let me give him some uh, some good thing on YouTube. I you needed know? to make sure that she turned <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> right. We had many times instances oh when the God. mic was was uh, mic was closed. It's off. And we were chapping, 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 and uh, the voice is not there. But the mic is on, right? Yeah, right so now. So get out of here, let me talk. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so guys, today uh, we decided to take you all out because I get it, a lot of people come, um, spend the first winter in Canada, and they're like, this is bad, this is cold, I don't want to go out, it's snowing and like I've seen people just you know go outside take quick picture with the snow and go back to their house and that's not good honestly right? You don't want to spend your like four or five months inside the house just you know going to work and coming back. Um, that's not ideal, it's not mentally good and it's not obviously physically good. So uh, what we have been doing, Osman and I, since we even lived in US and the part of the US we used to live in, it was also snowing. It actually even starts snowing uh, from October and lasts until like May. Sometimes even in June, like we will still have snow in the ground. So with that being said, we kind of, you know, uh, merged into this uh, situation where like, nothing gonna stop us right like even if it's snowing we're gonna go outside have fun uh, we used to even like start fire even in the snow you know we'll start fire make chai outside chai the Pakistani tea and it was absolutely fun right uh, so I want you guys not to hold yourself back I want you guys to go out have fun you're not here to, you know, waste that five months of your life every single year just because you're worried you're gonna get cold or something. All you need to do is, you know, dress up nicely. Look at me, having gloves, having scarf. I have my hat and my Eddie Bauer jacket and everything. It's not sponsored by Eddie Bauer, by the way, but here we are. Um, and you know, wear like a nice booth and just go out and have a walk and i'm gonna tell you guys exactly when you should go out to see a beautiful scenery especially here if you are in st john canada um make sure to plan a nice walk around when um after a snowstorm okay so like after the snowfall the following day get ready and i want you guys to go out and just walk around you are absolutely gonna be marvels you're gonna see the most beautiful scenery ever you know like the pine tree it always stays green even all around the year right so imagine the pine tree has a little bit of sprinkle of snows all over it it'll literally give you a nice uh fresh breath fresh feeling you are you know like a whole different mentality you can feel it um so that's what we're doing today we are going for a walk and i'm going to show you guys around if you are in St. john uh you can walk in rockwood park you can go to irving national park you can you can even you know just uh over the weekend parking in uptown st john is free so just go ahead park your car and walk around you'll see the beautiful road beautiful architecture and especially after a fresh fall of snow the whole thing is gonna be like completely different and this is exactly what we are here to show you today that how beautiful the fresh snow looks like and we are going to hampton hampton is about how much far Hampton, I'd say like 20, 30 minutes away from East St. John. It's about yeah. 25 kilometer. Um, the reason we're going to Hampton, we wanted to see some uh, covered bridge. So New Brunswick is actually very famous with covered bridge. So the bridge yeah. that are like covered where train goes in, sometimes cars goes in. And what happened is like, 
with the new city plan and everything they are trying to remove those and make it like a regular open bridge but these bridges are really really beautiful and we want to see these covered bridge uh, before they get destroyed basically so grab your cameras and let's go okay before we get started, I want you guys to comment down below if you are new to St. John, if this is your first winter in St. John. If so, I want you to tell us what are your favorite places? Where is your favorite to-go place where you just walk around and just enjoy? Let us know in the comments! So we are nearby Hampton. This place is called Smith Town. I love the calmness and quietness of this place. It is so peaceful. There is a very beautiful covered bridge right over there that we are going to show you in just a bit. But I just want to say, um, look, look at the beauty, the nature of Canada. Like these, these are the places where um, the, these are hidden. These are not on the mainstream media. And this is what we want to promote. This is what we want to show you guys so that you can make your decision to come to Canada and live a beautiful life. I just want you guys to really look at the beautiful structure of this bridge. It's a little bit sad that New Brunswick decided to remove this uh, covered bridge from uh, the whole province. I think they are very unique and uh, they absolutely have a signature here in New Brunswick. Um, yeah, they are beautiful and you know it's like one lane so like one car at a time can go and there is a maximum um, weight uh, it can hold it's all made of woods it's really beautiful like in winter and in summer and uh, yeah I hope you guys like it let me know in the comment down below if you like this type of stuff Uh, so yeah, we came to Hampton uh, behind me. That's uh, One of the bridges that actually used to be covered bridge just like the one I showed you in uh, Smithtown and now they made it open um, And this bridge it actually have a, a nice sidewalk to it and it's by the river so yeah, I'll show you around and uh, Osman grabbed his drone and his big lens so he's gonna show off a little bit you know and make some nice shots speaking of which i didn't grab my drone oh, okay go ahead and grab your drone then <laughs> i'll show you around guys it's too sunny you know <laughs> it's so weird when you see the sun like this you think oh it's so warm and nice but it is not it's minus five still but it's it's beautiful like you get used to it 
the other thing I want to mention is that uh, you might be super cold if this is your first winter in Canada but uh, trust me based on many many experience you're not gonna feel as cold next winter your body will get used to the temperature and this is why I want you guys to go out and walk even though this is your first snow uh, by doing that you're basically building resistance against cold so next year within the same temperature you are not gonna feel as cold as you did the year before so yeah Hello guys, so we are at the end of this adventure. Um, I really hope you guys liked the video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And really the summary of this video, I want you all to go out there and enjoy your life. Uh, don't wait for, you know, summertime or spring or whatever. Um, enjoy the movement there is beauty in everything and as we say in Arabic uh, so we are ending it with uh, coffee and meaning of means like uh, always have like a beautiful ending or like end with something beauty so this is the beauty coffee make sure to follow me by the way on instagram jihan j-i-h-e-n dot l-t-f if you are a coffee lover like me um, i post a lot of uh, coffee recipe and some motivation for you all out there see ya